Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. The topic for today's video is going to be a bag review on an item that was in style many years ago. It kind of fell out of style for a little bit and has been recently making a comeback. It is the Fendi Zucchino Mama Baguette Bag. I'll give you all the basic information on the bag, show you how I pack it, provide you with some mod shots, including a way to wear this little beauty crossbody. And lastly, I'll provide you with my thoughts on the bag. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's the lovely Fendi Mama Baguette bag. It measures 11.5 inches across, 4.5 inches wide, eight inches tall, and at its current strap drop length, which is the longest possible option, it measures approximately nine and a half inches. You've got a couple more holes there so that you can shorten it up if you'd like, but at its longest, it is about nine and a half inches. I'll give you a quick tour of the exterior so that you can see. This particular one has a gunmetal hardware, so you see the double F there, and the body of the bag is actually fabric. It's got the logo throughout, and you can see that in some cases, like right here, it says Fendi right there and right there a couple examples and the one thing i've noticed with this bag which is really nice there's a lot of little details where you see their name mentioned like here let me make sure i got it the right way you could see it says fendi right there i hope there it is yep see fendi and same thing except on the front over here you've got fendi as well let's see where else when you open it up the exterior is obviously very simple, so we'll just dive right into the interior. But when you open it up, see on the little snap here, you've got Fendi written as well. And this was a snap button. And right there as well, you can see Fendi written on the snap button closure. Open it up, take out the stuffing, and it's just basically one large compartment. You've got a back pocket here that zips closed and open right there and it's pretty deep it's it doesn't run i don't think it runs the entire length of the back not all of it but i mean it's a nice substantial pocket so you can obviously fit enough in there if you need to and then right outside of that pocket you've got this and it, i actually still have the protective plastic on it after all these years but it says Fendi made in Italy right there. And the lining is a dark brown. I'll just pull it out since I can and I can show you that throughout the lining, you can also see Fendi written in a couple places there, there. It's all throughout. So it is a very, you know, simple, straightforward bag. It's a nice size. You know, I wouldn't say it's small, but I wouldn't say it's huge either. What I'll do now is show you how I pack this bag. So here is the Fendi Mama Baguette bag completely empty. I typically wear this bag on the weekends when I'm running errands and want a bag that is a little fancier in its overall look in comparison to my more casual crossbody bags. Or if I want a bag that's going to easily take me from day to night, this is when I will usually pull this bag out. Since I do use it for running errands, I don't carry very much because when I'm running errands, I don't need a lot anyway. So I will start off with just some lip products that I'll put in here. And those will typically go in this zip compartment in the back. As far as the large main compartment is concerned, I will typically put my full-size wallet. In this case, it is the Louis Vuitton full-size origami. Put that right in there. I will also carry with me the MZ Wallace tooth pouch, as I have so lovingly named it. It's got my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, all dental hygiene products that I need while I am currently doing my Invisalign treatment. And this pouch is a, is a nice size, so it will fit in this little bag very easily. So if that'll give you any idea of how much this bag can hold, it, 
it, it would be with that pouch because it's it's a nice size and it goes in there without any issue. And last, but certainly not least, a pair of sunglasses. And that is it. That is typically what I will put in this bag. And as you can see now that I've packed it, there is still a fair amount of room. So if you wanted to add more items on either side or just on top, you certainly could do that. I personally don't need to given the way I use this bag and I really don't want to because I do like the way it looks with a few items in there versus packed to the top. I like its slouchy look. So I typically try to keep the contents as minimal as possible. So now what I'll do is provide you some mod shots of this bag on me. All right, here's the Fendi Mama Baguette bag on me. And for reference, I am five foot six. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, sometimes I will wear this shoulder bag as a crossbody. So I wanted to take a quick second and show you how I do that. Since the straps on this bag are adjustable, what I usually do when I wanna wear it as a crossbody, I will remove the strap for the shoulder bag completely off, like so. And what I'll do is use a strap like this, which I purchased actually from M Craft Leather on Etsy. I will link to them down below in the description box in case you are interested in purchasing a strap like this from them. But I had bought this for a different bag, which I have since sold, but I did retain this strap since I purchased it separate from that bag altogether. And since I had it and started to find myself wanting and wishing this were a crossbody, I thought to myself, I'll just, you know, bust this out and snap it onto the bag. And sure enough, it worked. So. You just take the clasp that you see right here and just do that, simple. Same thing on the other side. And there you go. A few seconds, you've taken the Mama Baguette bag from a shoulder bag to a crossbody bag. Obviously you can see that the hardware doesn't match. We've got gold and gunmetal going on here, but we mix and match hardware all the time these days, so I really don't find it to be an issue at all. In fact, I actually kind of like the little added touch and change in coloration as far as the hardware goes. So I really, I, it does not bother me one bit. So I think it is a really nice, fun way to kind of change up the look of the bag and you know get a little more use out of it. So what I'll do now is provide you some mod shots of this bag as a crossbody. Here's the Fendi Mama Baguette bag transformed into a crossbody bag. As I said earlier, I am five foot six. Overall, I am very pleased with the Fendi Mama Baguette bag. It is a wonderfully versatile and neutral bag. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can easily take this from day to night. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, which is obviously how it was intended to be worn. Or if you have a strap at home from another bag that could match this one or complement this bag nicely, you can take this strap off, put that strap on and wear it as a crossbody bag. And if you don't have a strap, you have options out there to purchase a strap that could go with this one nicely so that you can wear it in another way other than the intended shoulder bag option. As far as price point goes, I have not seen this bag on the resale market over $600. So you can buy this for at most $600 and have this in your closet, which when we're talking about high-end designer bags, that is a really great price point. When you're talking Fendi, you're talking Chanel, Louis, those easily go into the thousands. So if you're able to acquire a bag from one of those fashion houses and stay below a thousand, and in most cases, at or below 500 even, I think that is amazing. It's a great way to introduce yourself to this fashion house or to high-end luxury bags in general. So it's definitely a piece that I would highly encourage you to look for online, see what is available out there on the resale market. Should you be looking for a bag kind of like this, I think it would be a nice asset to your closet. What I will do is link down below in the description box some links to some of my favorite resale websites that carry this bag so that you can see what the options are out there. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.